Okay, I don't think we're looking for anything particular. I'm just trying not to spend a ton of money. I don't plan on even trying to look at furniture. Even though, guys, I have sold some furniture here recently, like multiple pieces of furniture. I can't believe it. But I'm mostly looking for smalls. I'm gonna be really picky and I'm only gonna purchase things that I know I can sell for four times what I'm purchasing it for. Tori, thoughts? Definitely looking forward to the clothes that they have here. So oh it's yeah. It's a lot of like true vintage good clothing. Mm -hmm. So definitely looking forward to that. Yep. And we tried to take a cute picture earlier and I spilled Tori's coffee all over the back of my leg. <laughs> and so I completely had a different pair of jeans on, but now my knees are cold. <laughs> This made me stop in my tracks. A tile top magazine holder with a drawer. Brandon, since 1901, Maryland. I'm gonna ask him. I'm gonna ask him. Sir, what you got on this cute little tile top piece? It does. I gotta tell anybody. Is it ten dollars? Is it are these in the mirror? Little compact mirror? <gasps> oh, that's cute. Oh my goodness. For your purse. Wait, that's such a good idea. I didn't know I was looking for this today. This little brass oh, box is cute with the enamel. I like this a little. What do you think of this one for three? Oh, I love that one. But I'll think about it. If it's gone when I come back, it's gone. Can you open this fortune cookie? I'm very curious. Ah, I have no clue what Maybe you Maybe it holds for. a fortune cookie. <laughs> my fortune cookie holder. Oh my goodness, a little time to put this ribbon on it. <laughs> Here's my favorite booth that I can never afford anything from. Every year, he's here to torture me. Do you see the little black cat that's over here? Here's the Jolly Roger, Merville. Look at those chairs. Boy, this is some cool chairs. Love it. It's so nice and organized and one of these old uh, shelf organizers. Or not shelf organizers, drawer organizers. She said 45 on the hat. Show me that scarf. You weren't gonna mention your bag for <laughs> What in the world? <laughs> Oh wow. Oh my gosh, these are gorgeous. I've never seen like a bucket style. Yes, I love that one. And I think it's cute to me out of there. Literally in this one too. Yeah. There's like a bunch of little oh, <laughs> I love Thanks it. Thank you. Oh, She's like, got this, this like, wintergreen oh, scarf. Yeah. I'm tied it on her bag. Show in with her. Okay. She's two fifty with her lobster. Exactly. Bring in the dancing lobsters. Amazing. Her shop name. All right, another update. She had a wintergreen pin. And so I got the wintergreen pin and Tori's got the scarf on her bag. And you got a little book, this little rabbit book, but the illustrations in it are just beautiful. Like, oh my goodness. The so sketched cute. illustrations. Just fun little finds. So we're still, we're still on the first row. We have not made it very far at all. It's a paperweight and a candle holder. I got it from West End Antique Mall. This is nice. Look how cool this is. There's some fun stuff here this year, or maybe I'm just early enough to see it. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. It is. Those lamps are pretty cool. I know. Those remind me of the one you want. Tori spotted the Starburst clock with the daisies. So 
so interesting, Tori. It, I like the colors on it. Or 160. 1960s, 275. Got this too. The Tory liked and I did too. 350. But I have a ton of crystals that I've just acquired over the years. I think we're being drawn to blankets more than anything else. Blankets and, and some rugs. This is 29 and I'm highly considering it. And then I wanted to look at that one. 35. It's a horse and buggy blanket. Oh, wow. Oh, it's heavy. Really? Mm -hmm. Are you gonna do it? $5 table. Oh, it's a five dollar table? This enamelware. This face. Oh my god. We gotta find something in here. Mom new Christmas decorations for the mantle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So this is the guy that was at Double Tollgate that had all the antiques. Remember I bought uh, that sparkly shirt and the hanging flower basket and the something else. I bought something else. He had that crazy wicker floor lamp. I haven't seen it yet though. Ah, there it is. Gosh, it's such a cool lamp. My house is way too small, but I love that lamp. It's so cute. Really nice box. I'm so drawn to the yellow. That's a cool piece though. Thank you. Look at this mirror. It's 45. Isn't that cool? Engraved plates. Mm-hmm. This is just one of the buildings. It's actually really busy in here. We came in for food and to look around, but we can almost never afford anything in here at all. Oh, they finally started bringing people back in here. COVID, this all used to be dealers, but then COVID kind of shut it all down. One of the best dealers that was actually affordable was in here. And I never see them anymore. Oh, that's really cute. Is it crocheted on the back? 
Yep. Caved. I did buy a piece of furniture, but I got one heck of a deal on it, and it's a marble top. I think we've hit a wall, and so we're gonna go collect, collect and take stuff to the car, and then drive down here and pick up the dresser. <laughs> I feel like we did pretty good. We did well. Yeah, yeah we'll we, have to. We circled. We did. We hit everything. Yes. And um, we'll show you guys the haul here soon. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what you would be forgetting. I don't know either. That's the problem. Thank you. We can come back if you need it. Yeah. Well, if you remember what it is. Yeah, to know, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully the people will still be here for We got a good sunny day to get home. I know, right? <laughs> y'all just picked up the furniture that I found for some good prices and Tori was looking at rugs there she is I feel like I'm forgetting something but I don't know what I bought I, I got the table with the tile top I got the pen you got the scarf the oh, pin pin scarf the lighter picture. The, yep the picture UVA picture the frame picture from the clothing guy mm -hmm. and the table and the clothes and then the patchwork piece. And then I also got the print from the lady, the calendar thing, the world yes. calendar thing. And then marble top. Marble top dresser. I, really I, like I just know that there was stuff that you were thinking about. Yeah, doing, maybe that's all it was. I think so. There was a, quite a few of those of like, I want to come back to that. But if you don't remember them, then yeah. you didn't want them. No. All right, let's go do a haul. No, I remember. What? I remember what I forgot. What? I know what I forgot. Not the cucumbers. Yeah, no, the, the clock. Now I just have to find him. <laughs> Who did I buy those from? Was it on this row? Or was I a row up? I can't remember. Maybe he was over here. Okay, I think this is him. Yes. I just gotta find it. Ah, there they are. Yep. So Tori found this wintergreen scarf. And wintergreen is a pretty popular ski resort in our area. It was in the it means same. A lot. The wintergreen means a lot to our family. It does. So it does. Even though I don't think we've ever actually skied there, for different reasons. <laughs> really cute vintage scarf, and the same lady had a wintergreen pen. There you go. And so Tori's keeping the scarf, and I think I'm gonna keep the wintergreen pen. Mm -hmm. Sentimental reasons. Little rabbit sketching book. I don't know if there's a year. I feel like the, is this not an original sketch on the front? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. These older style books, I really, really enjoy. A great little find for only $3 from the same lady. She was very sweet. The things, the thing that we almost forgot, the two things that we almost forgot, the Starburst clock with the daisies. Man, I got a good deal on this. I know, I've never seen one like this. No, me either. Super unique. Uh, of course, you got your chippy, rusty goodness on the center of the clock. It says good back here. Somebody wrote, good on the back and so I wonder if that means that it works I, I'm gonna have Mike look at the plug when he gets home whether it works or not what a cool just decor piece oh yeah wall great. piece and from that same guy bamboo magazine rack metal bamboo magazine I know rack. I mean, why did like, I say that I, well it's designed it, like yeah, bamboo. bamboo style but metal yes. magazine rack yes it's a yeah. cool piece also a great deal needs yeah, to be dusted yeah he was dusted. offering great deals he was so stuff. nice he was very nice he told us a story about yep. the clock and everything yep very nice piece by the way all this is going to be 
in the fall reset at the mm -hmm. booth. Yes, except for the pen in the scarf. My things will not be in there. Yeah. So not everything will not be in the reset, <laughs> essentially. <laughs> so this was a really cool calendar piece with uh, lithograph prints. Crow on the front with the 1955 February dates. Oh, it also has March on there behind the February. I didn't notice that before. July and August. And then October's is an owl and a squirrel. October and November, does it have December too? And December. It curls a little too much for display, but I'm gonna try and tame that down so that we can put it in the booth. Yeah, I like, it. I like the crow in the front. Oh, I've yeah. never seen one like that. Just like a wool, or what would you say that is? Oh yeah, definitely. A wool cardigan. It's like this gray green. Oh, that looks so good though. It's cozy, you'll like wearing it. It's got buttons mm -hmm. on the side. I like the cut of sure. it too. Yeah. So this wonderful needlepoint piece that probably would have been made for a pillow or a chair cushion. I think I'll just lay it out on a table for someone to pick up and use however they want. I just I kind I just like the colors on it and all the texture. Yes. Another thing that we got from him, he gave us one heck of a deal actually on everything. this pretty lady at everything, but her as well. She is a print, but she is a fabulous print in a really great frame. Just for the frame alone, it was a great deal. So she's gonna look great above one of the pieces of furniture that we picked up today too. Well, I saw his half circle entry okay. table first. I love the color on it first off, but then I also really liked how it was kind of chipping away a little bit. It was an unusual height. I felt like it was a really great height. And he <laughs> gave me another deal. Uh, he wanted it gone. He did not want to have to take that back with him. And so, I took it off his hands. And I mean, she would be so cool above that piece. Oh yeah. She would fit perfectly. She would also look good uh, above the other piece of furniture that we picked up though, the marble top dresser. Just a nice piece of furniture, classic. I think it would go in anybody's house. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit and put that feed and wax on it to make it really shine. I love marble top furniture. They're just elevated, timeless. Okay, and then the last piece, well, it was the first piece that I purchased, but I'm showing it to you last. This wonderful, functional little side table that you can either use as a magazine rack or to hold thread, not thread, yarn, for knitting. It also has this wonderful drawer and the tile that's on top. Definitely DIY, the top. Yeah. Like, that's not professional work. Really cute tile choice, I feel like, it's colors and tiles that are really in right now. It's really cute, I mm -hmm. like it a lot. I think somebody else will too. I have been needing to find more medium pieces, smaller pieces like this. I feel like they're moving pretty well right now. Any final thoughts, Tori? I think we did really well. Yeah, now I'm really tired. Thank you for watching us shop the Antique Expo. I got a lot of pricing to do. We'll see you next time, bye.